just remember that you're standing on a planet that's evolving and revolving at 900 miles an hour that's orbiting at 90 miles a second so it's reckoned a sun that is the source of all our power the sun and you and me and all the stars that we can see are moving Hello there, dear viewers. This is the NFW once again playing through Super Mario Galaxy. Last video, we beat Bowser. And this video, we're gonna see if we can feed this fucking Wooma. How many you want? You need 600. I have 600. I know I always say this. But. Who knows? Maybe one of these times, I will go, and I don't know how stupid this sounds, but I could go, and grind, <laughs> store pits, so I never have to worry about running out again. Giant... Uh, uh, Oh, I see. You just have to get fancy with it, didn't you? Yeah, maybe. You can see. <laughs> Grandpa's getting old. You know what? That, that's, that's decent. Red shells are good. You want this fucking shit. I think it's actually uh, faster to use red shells than uh, any other. Oh god. There we go, there we go. Bitch, get back here. Fuck you. Oh, right, I forgot there's a break button, isn't there? Yeah. It's inverted controls, man. Come on. It's inverted controls. I did it! I hurt myself in the process, but who cares? Up. Do you have any, any kind words for me now? Did you? Oh well. Grandpa's getting old. I got nothing other than that. Why can't these kids say something like, Your life's down to two your death's down? Damn! Am I, I don't understand dabbing. I mean, the answer is probably yes, but I still don't get it. It's baffling. It's stupid. 
But it's, fun, it's funny to make fun of someone for dabbing. I have? How oh, sweet, you can polish off the uh, kitchen. Fountain. Those are two different places. Yeah, I'm not certain how much Mario actually enjoys going through that thing. Considering the uh, concerned warblings he's making. Ah, the one I hate. Or one of the ones I hate. But I got this. I got this. Shrinking saddle. It's not shrinking. Yeah, but I'm gonna need that life, probably. Yes. Hey, you got something for me? No, yeah, that was, that was, that's what I was expecting. At least there's always a life here, so in case I screw up, I have a delightful little safety net. Right now, the easiest way to get this one. Is to just, just do that. All the song notes in the world. There we are. This one's not really that difficult, is it? Although, you know what's fun? Getting rid of every single one of these. For what you can do next. Because what you do next is just stupid and fun enough that you anyone can enjoy it. Ah, well. Missed those three. Ah, well. Will the camera go straight? Ah, oh, man. I hope the camera goes straight through them. But I find it very interesting that we deactivated a black hole. I don't think you can do that in real life. Just by run, running around some platforms? You know, I don't, I don't think that's how it happens. Yes, please. Save the game. Ah, but hey, look, there was also a, um, another comet that showed up, so let's show that one off as well. It's the Cosmic Comet. This one is kind of not fun. Kind of. Sort of, really. Now, this is the one that's similar to something in Super Mario Sunshine. Cosmic Mario Race. Now, this Cosmic Mario is going to look very familiar to you. Trust me. It will. Look at that! It's... Yeah. 
fuck? Fuck off. <sighs> Some of these get not fun. Like there's one that's a bunch more platforming than just what I showed there. But maybe I'm just looking at it through the eyes of, uh, of a child who was not good at the video games. Also, I'm very much aware that I've maybe unlocked another... Yeah, I've unlocked another galaxy, despite the fact that I haven't checked out the one beforehand. Shit. Some of these galaxies have the uh, two, actually, attached to them. And for some reason I say like one of them one has like three? But that might just be me remembering things. Nah, I don't... I have enough lives. Let's check out one of them. If one of them is a challenge one, I think I'll do that one first. Yeah, challenge one. Let's take a look. Challenge one, yay. Great. Time to regret these words. Through the poison swamp, through the fire and the flames. Carry on. This one looks very, very small, and you're right, it is very, very small. So look at that, look at this. this must be some, uh, No Man's Sky planet. Yes. <laughs> you, you guys are just real, you're just killing it here right now. Talk there. The wind sure is strong here. Yes, because of the many fans that exist in this world, naturally. They didn't put them here. They just exist for some reason. Bubble bone. Oh. Yep. But luckily, you get a top-down view. Don't hit anything, or else it'll pop. Yep. That's how it do. I'm very happy that m these moving bombs are keeping one of those, like, fucking fart trails or something behind them. It's, uh, it's very nice of them. Yeah, I did! It's 
not killed at the end. That was the tutorial. Now it's the real shit. Thank you for all those, I really did want them. No, yeah, that's... no, that's... yeah, alright. That's fair. That's fair. I wasn't paying nearly as much attention as I probably should have been, so, you know, fuck. Oh, right, that also gets rid of all of the... okay. Wait, it doesn't? Huh. I guess I just can't shoot any. It well in bubble form. Bubble formation. Not an actual square. Fuck you guys. It's more diamond shaped than anything else, isn't it? But who cares? We got it. Woo! Ah. And now, and uh. I'm going to end this on the storybook. Because you know what? Why not? It's open. I can just do that. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Opens the game. The Celestial Duo. <clears throat> Our story begins a very, very long time ago with a young girl. One day, this girl spotted a rusted starship holding a small star child. What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asked the star child. I'm Luma, and I'm waiting for Mama. She's coming for me on a comet, said the star child, who had been waiting day and night. Don't worry, I'll wait with you, the little girl promised Luma. At nightfall, the girl borrowed her father's telescope and peered into the sky. She looked and looked, but, saw, but she saw nothing. Hours turned into days, and then years, but still, the sky revealed nothing. Finally, the little girl sighed and said to Luma, If we stay here looking much longer, I'll be an old lady soon. But then she had an idea. Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves? 
the girl and Wuma fixed up the rusty spaceship, and, the, and then the two set sail into the starry sky. And this is how the search for the Celestial Mother began. Oh, this story time. Ah, <sighs> well, <clears throat> if you like what you saw, do not forget to like. <laughs> when you do, we will get um get 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 going with uh, the other uh, galaxy that I've yet to explore. And maybe I'll go back to some of the other ones that I kind of skipped. And by kind of, I mean very much skipped. <sighs> but of course, until then, this is the FTW signing out.